right, today we will be covering lesson 4.4 on bank statements. We always start off the same way. We're going to start off by writing down our equations for this lesson. The one equation that we're going to add to our sheet for today is going to be present balance equals previous balance. plus deposits minus withdrawals minus service charges plus interest In this previous slide, you should have seen two vocab words. The first one was bank statement. A bank statement comes from your bank and lists all activity in your account. Service charge. Charges by a bank for services rendered to your account. Let's go ahead and take a look at example two. Example two says the following. Margaret Miller received her bank statement for March. See figure 4.6. She checks the statement. Verify her present balance. Now, in order to find her present balance, you're going to have to know her previous balance, the deposits, withdrawals, service charges, and any interest earned. I'm going to write this kind of off to the side over here. First thing I'm going to talk about is finding the previous balance. Our previous balance on this bank statement is located right here where it says 313.54. We need to find our deposits. Remember, we are going to add those. So I'm going to put plus deposits. Now, we have a couple of deposits. It says we have two in total. So those are listed right here. So I'm going to type in 240.32, and I'm going to add 673.08. So my total deposits came out to the 913.40. Next thing it asks us to do is subtract our withdrawals. Withdrawals can be between automated transfers. It can include your checks written. It can include just where you use your ATM card, okay? So it says we have five of them. Well, I see three checks, so that's 45.78 plus 137.42 plus 275.81. We also have payments of 52.55 and 42.98. That gives us the $554.54 that they have. Next, it says subtract any service charges. Now, just to talk a little bit more in detail about service charges, this can include bank fees. It can include um, the fact that they may charge you just a flat fee for the month. They could even charge you for the number of checks you've written and so forth. In this particular case, we have no service charges. So this would be like adding, uh, sorry, subtracting zero. Then it also tells me to add any interest that I've earned. 
sometimes banks will give you money for allowing you to keep your money in their bank. So you store your money in their accounts. They're going to possibly give you interest earned. In this particular case, the interest earned is nothing. So they don't give you any money for having a bank account there, obviously. And then we're going to just follow it down the line. We're going to say 313.54. We're going to add the 913.40. We're going to subtract the 54.54. We're going to subtract zero and add zero. That gives me 672.40. And this is my present balance. And that matched the answer that they came up with as well. I want you to take seven minutes to answer questions three and four in the try on your own section. Seven minutes to answer those two questions. Go ahead and pause your videos now. As you can see, the two answers to questions three and four have now been provided for you. Go ahead and take a moment to get those answers written down. Check yours. If you have any questions about how I got to these answers, please feel free to ask and then answer the debriefing question on the next slide.